Well, faithfulness and truth, those are marks of God's character. Isaiah 25, one says, O Lord, thou art my God, I will exalt thee, I will praise thy name, for thou hast done wonderful things. Thy counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. God's faithful and he's true. If God says it, he's gonna do it. A few verses later, he says, and in this mountain shall the Lord of hosts make unto all people a feast of fat things, a feast of wines on the lees of fat things full of marrow, of wines on the lees well refined. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. This is something that hasn't happened yet. And it's a great reminder for us that are believers in Jesus, that when we uh, when we talk to somebody or we know somebody and they don't want anything to do with Jesus, they don't want anything to do with the gospel, they, they, don't, they don't want to hear about the word of God, we've got to remember that this veil, this covering that's cast over all nations is one of the things that's keeping them back from hearing and knowing the truth. The New Testament tells us more about this in the book of 2 Corinthians. First of all, in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, uh, it tells us, <clears throat> it says in verse 13, And not as Moses which put a veil over his face, that the children of Israel should not steadfastly look to the end of that which is abolished. But their minds were blinded. For until this day remaineth the same veil untaken away in the reading of the Old Testament, which veil is done away in Christ. But even unto this day when Moses is read, the veil is upon their heart. This is what Isaiah is talking about. The fact that just as Moses, when he was in the presence of God and received the Ten Commandments, when he came down, his face was glowing. And so he wore a veil over his face. He said, that's what it's like for the Israelite. They have a veil over their face. And, and they, they've got to, in, in, when they hear the Bible, it's, it's filtered through that veil. It's, it's blocking them from being able to hear all of the truth of God. That veil has got to be taken away. And the only way that the veil is taken away is in Christ. When they get saved, then they can see clearly. The next chapter tells us that not just for Israel, but it says in verse three, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. The scriptures tell us that one of the reasons that people don't just embrace the gospel of Christ is that they are intentionally being blinded by Satan. This is part of the war that we're engaged in. Satan is running a massive propaganda campaign with his world system, and he has blinded the minds, blinded the hearts, blinded the eyes of both Israel and the, the, the Gentile nations. And God says it's like a covering or like a veil that's over them. And so when you share the gospel with someone, you've got to realize that they are intentionally blinded. You've got to realize that the enemy is at work all of the time. And so this is why when we share the gospel, you can't just talk somebody into becoming a Christian. This is a miraculous thing that God has to do. He's got to yank that veil off of them. He's got to remove that blindness from their eyes. Like, like the, the Apostle Paul, the scales, as it were, fell from his eyes when, when he understood the truth of who Jesus was. And so you, you, you and I, we need to realize that and remember that as we share the gospel with people. But Isaiah tells us that there's a day coming. It hasn't happened yet. But there's a day coming when God is going to completely remove that veil. And, <clears throat> and that is yet future. That's something that you and I, we have to look forward to. I just want to encourage you this morning. Isaiah tells us that that covering is there and that someday it's going to be removed. But the New Testament tells us that one by one and, and, and possibly in groups, that we can see that veil removed as we prayerfully in concert and work with God's Holy Spirit who is convicting the world of sin and righteousness and judgment all the time as we share the gospel that we can see those blinders yanked off of people and see that veil removed as they turn to Christ and trust in him. I pray that this will be a year of sharing the gospel. God bless you. Hope you have a great day.